me a few minutes ago and uh, I have come uh, to let you know uh, the speaker Justin Muturi the speaker of the National Assembly the Honorable Justin Muturi um, the law spoke to me this morning to tell you that the path that you have taken is a path that is not going uh, to be favorable to you. You are going to uh, find yourself going away from favor and you are going into disfavor and into God's judgment. And the Lord has sent me to tell you uh, that as you go ahead, because of going public uh, with the idol worship practice and for portraying yourself as one that is not, um, you know, subject to the true and living God, that the judgment of God will come upon you and the honor that he had given to you even as the Speaker of the National Assembly, is turned into disfavor. And as you continue, if you continue in that path, the Lord has said that it will not be well with you. He will delete you. And you know, when God deletes a man, what happens? And so the Lord has commanded me to uh, speak that to you. And I pray that you are going to understand what the Lord is saying to you and you are going to take heed. Nobody has ever dared God and God failed mm -hmm. uh, to make good that which he has spoken. Listen to these scriptures, they will help you. Uh, and if you know Justin Muturi, uh, please share this with him because the Lord has spoken to me and I couldn't move. I had to... Um, you know, ask the people traveling with me uh, to give me a minute so that I can be able to share uh, what the Lord has spoken to me uh, a few minutes ago. Listen, the Bible wants us and God commands us in 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 7. Do not be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in reverie. And the result of these things that they did was 23,000 people began to die in a day. And I tell you, the judgment of God is waiting for you. The speaker, we admire your wisdom and your knowledge. But if you do not take heed, this will be your political demise. It will be the end of the road for you. It will not be possible for you to continue. And God is not short of means and ways and judgments. And if he begins to speak judgment on you, it is good for you to sit back, reflect, and refrain. If you don't, then wait and see what the Lord is going to do at such a time as now. Now, uh, in the same uh, chapter, uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and verse number 14, Therefore, my dear friends, flee idolatry. In 1 John chapter 5 and verse 21, Dear children, keep yourselves from idols. In Colossians 3 and verse number 5, the Bible says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your other nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Children of God, it's good for you to understand that God does not like idolatry and when people clung to idolatry in the book of Jonah God had this to say to them in Jonah chapter 2 and verse number 8 those who cling to worthless idols turn away from God's love for them uh, speaker Justin Muturi 
you are turning away from the love that God has shown you, which has brought you to the position of being the speaker of the August house. God is not pleased with this decision to go in a traditional demonic path for God will not spare his wrath, but he will bring it upon you speedily. And everybody shall see what is to happen to anybody that goes in that direction. May God help you so that you may be able to know what the will of God is. In other words, God will begin to take you uh, for a fugitive, one that is at loggerheads with him. In Isaiah 45 and verse number 20, gather together and come, assemble you fugitives from the nations, ignorant are those who carry about idols of wood, who pray to gods that cannot save. I tell you that God will not save you. He won't save you. And if you continue in that direction, then wait and see how that God will not save you and the God of heaven's wrath will be upon you continually. Listen, in Judges 10 and verse number 14, go and cry out to the, to the gods you have chosen. Let them save you when you are in trouble. That means trouble is coming upon you, uh, Honorable Justin Muturi. But at that time, the prophetic voice against you will be go and pray to those idols, to those gods, and see if they will save you. I want to pray to God that you are going to wake up and you are going to backtrack on that venture that you have moved upon. I heard the people that are working on the coronation saying they want a man who can sacrifice himself. If you sacrifice yourself, then you'll be gone. You'll be gone. You'll be gone. You'll be surprised. And those who remain behind will be surprised how quickly you'll be gone. God has spoken. May you hear the voice of God and may you turn away from worthless idols. And God is going to help you. The blood of Jesus is the only blood that can deliver you. Time is gone when people would consult witchcraft and sorcery and powers of darkness for positions of authority. Now it's time to uh, consult the God of heaven. But let me ask, is it because there is no God in Israel that you have sent to consult the gods of a crown? the gods, the Baal, the gods that are not gods at all, then listen, you will not come down from that bed of sickness, declares the Lord, but you shall surely be destroyed on that particular bed. May God help you to understand what he is talking about. I've heard clearly from God this morning, and I want to warn the speaker of the national assembly by the mouth of god god called me to be a prophet in this nation at this particular time be warned don't continue in that path publicly go ahead and declare you're backtracking and god will save you if not prepare to meet the god of israel and his wrath is already at the door. The axe is laid on the feet of the tree and the angel of God is standing right there. Maranatha. Baruki pradaganso keria paruete sezizio baredoziza kashute bezuzia karenazuzie mbasetole parude besekonoya goloki predegatula zizio lo paruete zekia makashu tenemezuaba Maliso prorepakushe perebi kapuze niya zuta. Justin Muturi Koreria Kredekazuzi. Pashene meso peheka poritizio. 
Ozonia, Prate Kazuzi, Pesheta, Zaneganto, Kroria, Krete Kazuzi, Gesha, Orapasu, Kapushe, Temeziu, Mwazia, Prete Zeziu, Azeno, Keme Kaziu, Irope, Krotia, Pashetozi, Ozeneki, Shotea, Zia, Lonenai, Sopahate, Opo, Zaparai, Peretekata, Itolia, Sita, Lilai, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because you are our God. We commit the nation to you. We pray that you bless Kenya, bless the National Assembly, bless our land. Bless every MP that is going to walk into those chambers in the coming election and the by-elections. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. God bless you. And remember, the Holy Spirit has spoken. Uh, let the gods of those who believe in other gods go and give them an interpretation, if they can, of what the Lord, the Lord's writing on the wall is. God bless you. Amen and amen. It is done. God bless you.